The man accused of planning a Christmas Day terror attack on Pier 39 in San Francisco returned to a Fresno courtroom today. North Valley resident and former Marine Everett Aaron Jamison learned he will not be able to post bail. Action News reporter Brianna Ruffalo was in the courtroom this afternoon and she joins us now live from the newsroom with more on the judge's decision. Brianna? Well, today the judge decided Jameson is a danger to the community and detained him without bail. The judge said it was a difficult decision based on the fact Jameson has a limited criminal history and has made few, if any, violent actions, but also said he's made some of the most disturbing statements and violent threats. Jameson had nine family members supporting him in the Fresno courtroom this afternoon, some in tears throughout the hearing. But the terror suspect seemed calm and collected. He even shared a few smiles to his attorney before the hearing was in session. It must be disappointed that we didn't get out. Yeah, pretty disappointed. Jameson's defense attorney tried to argue his client is not a danger, pushing for him to be released with restrictions like pretrial monitoring. He even added that Jameson is a victim of domestic violence at the hands of his estranged ex. And instead of retaliating, he filed a restraining order. He also reminded the court Jameson said he would not be able to follow through with the attack after all. When the judge asked how she should weigh his backtracking of the terror plot, the district attorney replied by saying Jameson backtracked because an FBI agent accidentally called him off of a Washington, D.C. phone number. The defense attorney response, as a tow truck driver, Jameson receives calls from different area codes all the time and returns missed calls because they could be work related. The prosecutor reminded the judge of statements Jameson made during a search warrant, telling FBI agents his mindset behind these actions were for the destruction of the United States. And when asked if he would still follow through with the attack, they say his response was, if he had an opportunity, there's a good chance of it. The judge ultimately said, after a lot of thought and consideration, there's reasons to doubt the alleged ISIS supporter's state of mind, especially with his recent voluntary psychiatric hold and struggle with depression. Now, the defense has an opportunity to appeal the outcome today, but until then, he's detained without bail. Jameson will be in court again January 5th for his next hearing. Live from the newsroom, Brianna Ruffalo, ABC 30 Action News.